lots of people holding festivities outside today for whatever reason. And I guess with that in mind, what was going on today? Today was the release of the DJI Avada. We pretty much knew everything about it in terms of specs, but in terms of things like the price, that would be the question. Although, first off, they show their trailers. Of course, they want to put it in its best light. You can judge for yourself in terms of the video quality and all that. I think one of the interesting things is it seems like the marketing geared towards the perception that this will be great for, I guess, people to be carefree per se in the sense of when you fly stuff like this, I would assume a lot of people, they crash. There's a lot of emphasis on things. For example, the prop guards, you can basically crash, I guess, into an object and it'll still kind of keep its balance. If the drone itself actually flips over, then it'll flip back up. I've seen some FPV drones with that feature where it can, I guess, flip itself back up. It'll probably be really convenient where you're flying around, I don't know, in a forest area as an example. If all of a sudden it crashed, then you have to walk all the way there, start it back up again. Whereas in this case, I guess in an ideal situation, you can just flip back up and you can start flying again. So overall, it's meant more for people who don't want to, I guess, do the work per se in terms of building a custom made drone and all that. Now, how about things like the cost? Because that's the important thing when it comes to stuff like this. So apparently there will be three different packages or ways to buy this. The first one here says what the DJI Avada Pro View Combo. That'll be what, $1,388. The DJI Avada Fly Smart Combo, $1,168. And just a DJI Avada, no RC, $629 US. So what's the big difference? For the most part, it seems like whether or not it comes with things like which goggle version, and as well, things like the motion control. I don't know if people would actually use that, would they? Like for serious FPV, I guess, operators? Would they actually want to use these motion controls or more standard, for example, sticks where you use your left and right hand? I know in terms of things like video games, a lot of them are like that, but they're usually very arcade-ish. I don't know if that would be ideal for capturing videos and so forth, but what would you think for the price point? Would you actually be enticed to get this? Funny enough, I was actually reading some comments from people where they assumed this would be under 250 grams, but no, it's over the threshold. So that would make you think too, whether or not it would be ideal to get this because as I mentioned before, it's one of those things where something could be the best camera and all that in the world, but if you can't fly it, then what's the point per se? That actually might be a big negative for this drone actually. Can you imagine if you want to fly indoors with these types of drones, which I've seen a lot of people do, for example, just going through various rooms, it looks really cool. But because there are things like regulations or DJI's, for example, geo zone, imagine you're flying indoors. Technically, you should be able to fly wherever you are. In most cases, when you're indoors, it doesn't count, even if it's a quote controlled airspace. But if the software and stuff actually blocks you from taking off and so forth, what would you do in that case? That's something to think about. I don't think many people would actually mention that, especially if they're being paid to do reviews and all that for the product. But again, all in all, it seems like their marketing message is fly this, crash it, and basically just keep going afterwards. And in terms of crashing, this was kind of a fascinating piece of news. Apparently there was someone who posted, I guess this video, trying to claim that Tesla and its automated driving software is not very good. So what they did apparently was, I guess they took a figure, a mannequin, whatever you want to call it, shaped kind of like a child and it shows the car basically just running right past it. So that's to tell you, hey, it's not safe per se. Like what, this guy here posts, our new safety test of Elon Musk's full self-driving Teslas discovered that they will indiscriminately mow down children. It says, today, Real Dawn Project launches a nationwide TV ad campaign demanding NHTSA Gov ban full self-driving until Elon Musk proves it won't mow down children. So you can see in this article too, apparently, I guess, because of that, Tesla is going to, or potentially, sue them. That's what they said anyways. Like this one here, it reads, Tesla threatens to sue critic over a showing its cars hitting kid-sized mannequins. Tesla sent a cease and desist to Green Hill Software CEO Dan O'Dowd, a vocal critic of its driver assistance systems. O'Dowd paid for a national ad campaign showing a Tesla vehicle plowing down a child-sized mannequin on a test track. Tesla calls the ad misinformation. Federal and state vehicle safety regulators are investigating Tesla driver assistance systems, including FSD Beta, to determine whether they are defective and contributed to collisions. 
Now, whether or not it's true, that was kind of the interesting thing where apparently, I guess people who drive the car wondered if it was true. So what they did was apparently they used a real child and they tried to determine whether or not it was true or not. Like it says here, after the TV ad went out, some Tesla fans and shareholders devised their own FSD beta safety test to prove the cars would avoid hitting children. They enlisted their own kids for these demonstrations and posted videos to YouTube, which later determined the videos went against their harmful content policies and removed them. On Wednesday, Musk said in a tweet, Early beta has many known issues. The reason we release it to a limited number of cars is to discover unknown issues. Can you believe that? Actually using like your own child or a real kid to see whether or not that's the case, it'll crash into them? Wow, what a crazy story. Let's see how this one turns out, huh? See you guys later.